Okay. Dialing it in. I mean, as long as we get into the complex, we're fine to finish off a run. It's, yeah, getting into the complex is a little bit more... Uh, more sketchy now than it was a couple days ago. Okay. Let's go again. I'm still just upset about that one run that died at Pavlov Complex. Uh, it's a little sad. Let me go to bed thinking about it. Is a solid wall. Trying to aim a little bit more left this run. The problem with like trying to alter my path is I don't know exactly what has collision out here. Like just the most random things will have collision. Like the fact that building there had collisions, like what why? Is this building gonna have collision? Probably not. Oh, well, this one does, okay. Interesting. Okay, we should drop through. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is looking like a good, good path. Okay. 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 We not bad. Not bad. I think I actually want to be able a little bit more left. Because uh, if you can land on top of this big rock, you're fine. But if I'm landing here, I have to go around it some way. So I want to actually be like more left so I can just walk that path. <gasps> the fuck? Okay. Off we go. You know, ooh, I just realized something. That may waste a little bit of time. To grab, but it would take away this pain point. So I'm pretty sure I know where to get a consistent med pack. Sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. It just kind of goes away from where my stuck launch spot is. Security, but they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right. He wanted to show. But it would mean I don't have to reset, which is pretty great. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? So I might have to come back and look for a better spot. To find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists. And the reset, reset. Everybody loves a reset. Want to get our bots banned because they're taking their reset. And the more like Reese's. So get rid of all the workers. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm going for that. I just want some Reese's now. Government is feeling pressure from. Little Reese's peanut butter cups with the Reese's pieces inside. Oh my god. Give me two dozen. Sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? 
Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be... Yeah, you got a medium neuro capsule there. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Yeah, I, I need to find a better he wanted stuck to show spot. The world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. We don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite free well. robots. The American government is feeling pressure from <gasps> both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots okay. will be located in key... I should have hit that, but I guess not. ...when collective oh. launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our... Uh, actually, not that bad. No, they're fucking great. Activate mm. That'll make it that much easier Can't to... Can't go wrong with chocolate and peanut butter. I gotta admit. And tons sense. of sugar. It might be possible to use the chest that we get the health container out to stuck launch, or just like find a stuck launch right around there. It's got to do some testing, but <clears throat> getting a med kit is uh very nice. Take five. I had a take five like when they first came out. And I don't need. I've had one since, which is like. A decade ago. Take five out of the pretzel in it. Shit, my head's killing me. Ugh. Or am I thinking of a different... It's got nougat? I'm not a huge nougat kind of guy. I'd rather have caramel. Caramel. I think I can get away with one fall and then healing. Yeah, Milky Way. I love me some Milky Ways. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's the traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Well, I mean, let's see if I... <laughs> is this going to kill me? Alive. I want to take f a fall damage and then heal. Yeah, yeah, cool. Is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. A little scary. Section of that. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's a good strat. That's something I really should have thought of sooner. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. So, what will it be, Major? <gasps> yeah, 
Yeah, you're like Milky Way. If I had to choose like top five candy bars, chocolate bars, uh, Milky Way, and then a Twix, and then a Reese's Cup, then probably a Crunch Bar. Um, maybe Butterfinger is number five. I'm gonna take something else. Oh my god. Butterfinger's good. The only thing I don't like about Butterfinger is like how much you get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, the bunch of crunch. Bunch of crunch is pretty fucking solid. Number five spot's kind of uh, iffy. I might, and this might be, I don't, I don't know if, how people feel about it. Uh, the cookies and cream Hershey's bar. Hershey itself, you know. What more can you say about it? Uh, but the cookies and cream Hershey? Kind of good. Kind of fuck with it. Maybe. Pesticide level decreased. Now at four percent. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Two percent. Whoa. I like how like the vegetation doesn't rotate with the platform. Taking you so long. Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's funny. That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If you don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. Here's a question for everybody watching. Do you consider chocolate to be candy? Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! I feel like anytime people bring up candy bars, they always bring up chocolate. But I've always had them, like, separate in my mind. Like, when I say I want some candy, I don't immediately think, like, Snickers or Milky Way. God damn it. I'm thinking more like Sour Patch Kids or oh, fuck. something of that variety, you, you know? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them, hurry! If it has sugar. If they get to us, we're dead! aiming better? They're almost here, get up, get up! I'm trying, I'm trying! Fuck. No, help me! Get it off me! Ah! Like when you say like top five candies, I don't immediately start putting chocolate in that list. And chocolate candies, yeah. Like M and M's, I'd say are candies. Oh, shit. It's a fucking canister. Well, it's something. It's mutated. No shit, Sherlock. Think chocolate too. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm separate. If someone's like, oh, I, I could go for some candy right now, it's like chocolate doesn't, for me, enter that equation. Get the fuck off me. <clears throat> Holy shit, that was insane. 
You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. All right, let's see if I can get this skip. Oh, uh, I think I get boosted by an enemy there. It fucking punched me in the butt. Uh, I was thinking American candies. It's the ones I know. That was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is... Woo! Alright. We got there. What's up? Second, third try? Take that. We'll take that. Yeah, see, so if I want chocolate, I'll say chocolate. But if I say candy, I want... Sweets. Nerd's Rope. Uh, I don't think I've had Nerd's Rope, like, since it's come out. <laughs> Nerds are fine in small quantities. Uh, I don't remember the rope part being particularly tasty. Nerd's on a Twizzler. I feel like it was it was kind of worse than a Twizzler. I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead, and that's my fucking line. Indeed, but we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. So I'd, I'd love for anything to load in here. Thank you. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Alright, let's see if I get absolutely fucked on the thing spawning in off the start here. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Past couple of runs, things are just fucking, yeah, just flown straight into these. I mean, it doesn't even, like, look that bad on low graphics, to be honest. Like, it doesn't look fantastic, but... It's pretty solid, I'd say. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up a chirper. Oh, I thought I was looting the body. Where's Robo, dude? Uh, let me fix this. Shadows? I mean, this game's so dark anyways, I kind of, like, don't even notice that there's shadows or not. Mm. Is, if there's a mistake in the floor checker pattern? No, I haven't looked at it that much. Probably is. There's probably some weird overlap that doesn't quite match up.
So, like, graphic-wise, the only thing that, like, sticks out to me now is just, like, um... Animations far away, or just, like, two frames a second. It just always looks really weird when you look at something far away. Zero Cry Month. What's going on? Unfortunately, this part lasts like eight minutes, and there's nothing you can really do to speed it up. Just trying to get some loot, because it's really the biggest <laughs> combat section we have to do. You don't have it set at 2 FPS anymore? What are you talking about? I've set what the... what? Farming, yeah. I mean, we just have to go through the eight minutes of waiting for the canister, so it's like, well... Might as well fight and get some loot. What is this room? Yeah, I don't know. That is way too long. I'm also not sure if I'm even going to have enough. Um, so I like to get mass telekinesis off of this and the upgrade to uh, do damage when you throw them down to the floor. And I don't know if I got enough spawns to get enough neuropolymers out of it. Yeah, I mean, they do this a couple times throughout the game, where it's like, oh, here's just, like, a five-minute fight that you have to do, and they just spawn, like, a whole bunch of the same enemy over and over again. I usually get to this room at like the 17 minute mark, so we'll see what happens, but it should be nearing the end. Actually gonna let him harvest the body. Oh, he's not gonna harvest it. Damn. I was gonna let him too. Nothing's attacking me and doesn't want to spawn in. I'm gonna go to buy stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm at 22 and I need 70. Like, oh my god. Uh, not not color blind mode. It just looked like this. To miss the crispy critters? No, never.
don't say. Finally. Yeah, I did not get a lot of neuropolymer there. That's let's get the hell out of here. Kind of shitty. Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? What a pain in the ass. Doing good today? Uh, I mean, not in this game. I'm not doing super well, but what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> My actual day went pretty, pretty okay. Can't really complain. Say, finally. Oh, we got the weird health bar thing again. Well, at least we know it goes away when we get to the Plush fight in the VDNH. Ex exhibition. Well, you're not supposed to be in this area yet, so when you approach the gate that's supposed to let you into the area, uh, it unloads the room. So we're actually doing these canisters in, um, like, a backwards order. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Like if the order you're supposed to go in is one, two, three, four, we go four, three, one, two. Just because it gets us around some cutscenes and stuff. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on that cases, metallic or otherwise. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stored in your backpack along with your other items. Wait, why did the door close? What? The candle is a the energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions maintaining optimal temperature. That's weird. Eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I going to turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Get into the pipe. Oh, I've seen that 
stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high... Okay, Boop. the opening. <gasps> What's gonna happen next? Whoa, right turn. Wow. I actually need to grab one of these. Oops. It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room are not over by the birch tree. Well, it is until you realize there's not really like any puzzle to it. They definitely could have made like an interesting puzzle around it. Um, okay, oh, he's five shots. Why? Who the hell, Charles? Who's singing? Never heard him before. I have no idea. This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. Anything. When you do a morph ball section in Metroid, someone else is controlling you. Oh god. Well. What a relief. workshop used for heat resistant polymers are made here but most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat resistant flora nice the polymers here are enriched with essential oils from cacti sereris a cactus the cacti sereris plants that are adapted to high temperatures do they want to make the desert i see if there's something else i can loot like in the meantime they plan to terraform mars See if I can optimize my oh waiting. Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration? Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis. But I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking oh, yeah, the right. are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened. Authorization. Major Oh, I can just barely afford that whole shit. <laughs> Woo, okay. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Me? No, I've seen me. Oh, not me. Okay. <laughs> that guy just suicide on me? What happened? Or did this one spit? I don't even know. No, nah, this guy fucking. Uh, I love enemies that are just like so slow. Like, come on. If you're gonna fight, do it five minutes ago, please. Why can't I get puzzles like that every time? Sleeve. I'm not sure. 
I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't what? agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we these canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully specific. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these planets. It worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Just need to speed up the last motor. No, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Yeah, it should be filled in ten seconds. Yeah, that's a lie. That's better. Pleasant lights all around. Chela's buzzing in the distance. How mm. romantic. Maybe it means it'll start filling in 10 seconds. <laughs> Loading a save after you get that dialogue? You know I haven't. That's a, that's a good thought. now, but it's definitely something to potentially look into. And collect the canister now. No, I'm dead. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Patrol butcher hundreds of people? No, she's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm way knee deep in gore? What the? What the fuck was that? Okay, that was weird. It's like a full 360 to plug that one in. <laughs> it's funny. I mean the viciousness of this homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned... That's what done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavala. Sheesh! Even more time saving than last time. I think I was like eight and a half minutes ahead here, uh, before. So somehow I saved even three more minutes. How did Cheriton Zahara die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov oh, cool, cool. Even that wasn't perfect. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neural... Saving a casual 11 and a half minutes. <laughs> What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, 
No footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity... It's a guy with a goatee. ...isn't hazardous at all. And a weird nose. There's no way it could kill someone. Yeah, the sprout room's definitely, it's like, a, a, a pain point. Okay. I mean, it's nice that we can get that polymer was a unique experience loot there. Um, because it kind of gives us, like, enough loot for the basic things we get along the way in terms of combat, but... Uh, yeah, finding a way to somehow speed that up would be great. Sad so spot, like, tends to be about eight minutes long. I don't know if it's exactly supposed to be eight minutes or not, but, uh, art. Who wants to buy my art? Starting bid at five prime subs. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solid. That's a loading screen? It's not even a loading screen. We're just really far away from the surface. The other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Shit, chills. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more chills they're falling. The sooner the damage is going to be done. The elevators in this game are really silly. And they're not like straight up and down. That one just has to travel like a mile to get where <laughs> where this house is. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have a say. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the hawk do if I end up on camera? We Oh, okay, even more left. And all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees I'm not great at like finding this train. A level 2 alarm will be activated and the hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely need you to be I don't wish to see me. I'm not going to show up. I've been far more than you should have seen. Unfolded and flat. Good assuming. We can I have to I I can't deal with this right now. Well the, the pausing's not what's breaking it. Um if you drop a jump input Normally you can't start like a net you can't just jump again. You have to hit pause to start another infinite jump chain. That's why I'm doing that a whole bunch, because I keep just dropping it. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride? Pretty good email. You blood sucker. Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document from Ray? <laughs> wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. Charles? Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? Already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I mean, it's a bug that doesn't really affect most players. Because it only works at high high frame rate, so it doesn't affect consoles at all. Uh, most PC players aren't going to have it. 
Even if you play on PC, you're not usually aiming for 240 plus FPS. And even then, you have to know to spam jump. To get it to work, you know? Yeah, but people who aim for 240 FPS are like 0. 0.00001% of the player base, you know. As much as I want to believe speedrunning is like a big thing in the marketplace, it's it's not. <laughs> or like PC enthusiast. What the hell for? Okay, fair enough. Uh, Anything else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come uh, You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? <sighs> All right, now we just run, run away. We. That's not too bad of an out-of-bounds to do. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Hmm? Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Uh, that's not what I want. Hey, I think I get it. All right, not bad. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Nice, easy. Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much Charles? What Charles. Neuro connectors from Sechenov's team look like. The special neuro connectors have the Greek letter gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. I have them in drop down. I should just do it all in one. Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter gamma. All fake connectors are real. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So probably people upstairs. Oh, the guy running towards me probably. Wait, where'd you come from? That's a nice chair you got there. It's like, please don't like bug out somehow. Luckily, it didn't. New scanning cycle. Module. God, rim, use some right, right, left. left. Not found. <sighs> if you didn't like have a landing animation, if you fall like two feet, the game would be so much better. These mustached perverts must 
have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. I don't care about the damage. It's like the animation's annoying. I hate it's fucking give me a new puzzle. <clears throat> Sometimes you get like ones that you have to move like one one step over and the next it's like, oh nope. Never mind, you gotta go. Still three colors and you gotta learn how to speak Japanese. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply. Uh, Focused, honey. Are you thinking about me? Oh, I don't have enough for that. Come. I hope you're not thinking about that nasty doctor slut. Who? What are you even talking about? Why, Petrov's vulgar and graceless whore, of course. <laughs> you mean Dr. Filatova? I do not care what her name is. She better keep away from you if she knows what's good for her. Filatova will stand trial and be punished for aiding and abetting traitors to the motherland. Ah, uh, not quite enough yet. Shut up, you electric sheep. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Let me through. Thank you. You have reached the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's... I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his alpha connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's tools. So his alpha connector must be really well covered. Who's watching him? with the connector with the far Oh, come on. Fuck me. That's fine. Like, sometimes these robots are right on your ass, and other times they just don't care about you. Half the times they can't even, like, get through the door. Like, when I saw the second one, I knew I was dead. Even if I killed that first one, there's no way the second one was gonna let me live there. I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words... Pretty much anybody. You have reached the facility service rooms, Major. I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. <laughs> oh, so that's true. I've never seen Dr. Section out wearing a bracelet before. Does his alpha connector look different? Indeed, it does. His device. Hoping if I do that, they won't have noticed me slip out. Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his alpha connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching, Argentin? Entrusting humans with the connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguard. You mean the ballerina twins? Okay. The way they move, they're so graceful, <sighs> elegant. They kind of remind me of something. Is that New scanning cycle. Module, Blim. Oh, that's a dog. <laughs> Location, Davilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Oop. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large elongated <sighs> A large elongated object. Wow. There's a big honking thing in here. And lots of little fires.
What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle kit. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process. Yeah, if those two robots in that hallway become a, like, a more consistent problem, it might be worth just buying shield again. I didn't get all the loot from the things that I wanted, but Charles, where'd he go? Why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any... New scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, left. So, I don't think I got enough to... Yeah, I did not get enough. How much do you get for disassembling these? Uh, yeah, no, I don't have enough. Yep, yeah. okay. No upgrade from me here. Wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. Don't do it. Don't do it. You stupid bitch. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called Plush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Why? And of course the Why doesn't it lock the door when you get in here? Sorry. I really don't want to fight this and then have a fucking laser guy shooting me in the back, you know? Oh, and then I get this. Oh my god, these runs are not going my way. Uh. I, I feel like I've done a really good job of routing, like, the macro parts of the run, like the out of bounds and, like, where to. You know, the overall route, but I don't have the, the micro stuff down. Like, loot paths, when to upgrade, combat necessarily, how to handle enemies. Okay, yep, yep. I love when Mass Telekinesis just says, fuck you. It's <laughs> great.
Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Right. Indeed, we Installing are. the head. The collective Double two, seven, nine, Yo, Stephens. Our runs, uh, not great. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Here's your leg. Do yourself a pair thing. I mean, I'm learning, but... I agree. They're real rough at the moment. That's uh, pretty tedious. I mean, it's not. I just haven't spent the time to look into it. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. You're making me better, comrade. All her body parts assembled. So I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that like the actual loot you get from stuff is not randomized. It's all Comrade, we will now initiate uh, the launch sequence. It's always the same. Launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence. So like second launch code sequence um, Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Like, if I know exactly what I need for the upgrades, what what upgrades I'm going to get, and then what those upgrades cost, I should be able to route out to the point the things I need to loot or kill along the way. Forgive me. Agent I haven't gotten to that level yet. Build a waifu. Oh my god. That's not blood. It's pain. So the only thing that would be like kind of random, at least at the moment it seems, is like the uh, canister room in the v Vavilov complex. Like how many enemy spawns you get there. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Like everywhere else, the enemies are like pretty static spawns. That's like the wave that we have to go through. So like the more enemies that spawn, the more loot we get. But, but first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. Some Girl Scout cookies. Ooh, what kind? From I'm a big fan of the tagalongs. Do you think this game is worth investing time into or nah? Uh, casually or speedrun wise? Casually, I think it's fun to play through if you can get it either on Game Pass if it's available or on sale. At some point, I think for sixty bucks, it's not. As a minister, uh, as a speedrun, you know the consequences. Uh, I don't know. I hope so. Yeah, casually, I would not pay sixty bucks for it. The upcoming launch of the collective neural network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I then mints? I'm not. A, I'm not a huge mint fan, especially not mint and chocolate. Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you? I've heard that's like, it, it might be like a thing that like, as you get older, you tend to like mint more. <laughs> so I, don't know, I don't know if that's true. We'll see. <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I, I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Yeah, mint and chocolate doesn't do it for me. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. Like mint and chocolate and then dark chocolate. Uh, just are uh, not things I can eat. Ah, my eyes. <gasps> my eyes. My urge. Cheese, almost perfect. Spicy chocolate, ew. Ew. P3, my boy, you're alive. I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov, the government commission, they're dead. 
Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? Fifteen or so. Yeah, this is like a bitterness thing. Like, uh, bitter is not Some of them may have a palate I can, <laughs> can stand. What the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more. But what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left, helper. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This all the new games by Bandai? It's too much for all. Um, I'd have to know the titles. Warheads? Warheads are like the sour part is good. As soon as the sour part wears off, uh, they're disgusting. Like the actual candy part is not good. The sour part is great. Candy part, not a big fan. Except for maybe like the lemon. Warheads candy bar. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, Warheads is like a ton of different kinds, so it doesn't surprise me. But like, Warheads is like the chewy little squares and tons of other different products. Uh, I'm not like a huge fighting game guy. It's one of those games like if, <laughs> if I was like a kid and like my friend had that or like I've rented it from Blockbuster or something, I'd have fun with it, but like it's not even on my radar of games to play or watch or care about. I played Dragon Ball Fighters Z uh, when it came out. That was kind of fun for like a day. Get some candy tomorrow. Sheesh. Fighting games are like a genre that I always wanted to like and get into. Like, I always really wanted to like Mortal Kombat. But it's like if you don't commit the time to like really playing and getting better, it's just a frustrating experience. I don't have the time to sit there and like learn combos and get my ass whooped day in and day out. It's like if you play like the story campaign or just against bots, it's like it's so fucking easy. Most of the time it's like not even fun. But then you play online and you just get fucking stomped into oblivion.
Like, as memey as it is to say for Smash that, like, playing with items on makes it, like, less competitive, like, it's actually, like, a fun way to play Smash. What? what was it's like, uh, I have friends that are really big into playing, like, Melee. Uh, and, you know, they can wave dash and do all that stuff and know, like, the tech, but I don't, because I just never play that shit, but... We put on items and play, like, fucking poker floats. Like, it's it's kind of an even even battle, you know? You can have some fun with it. And for, like, Tekken or Street Fighter or whatever, there's not really an equivalent mode for that. Yeah, exactly. Party Fighters kind of, like, close the skill gap. Have you traced the signal? The dwarf is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Am I still saving time with that one death? Right now. Even beating the gold I had last time? Which was like, kind of fine through here? That's crazy. Like, saving time isn't crazy, because it's a reroute, but the fact that I beat my gold from last time is pretty crazy, because I had that death. Did I? I didn't die last time at all, did I? I don't, I don't think I did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the data so there's definitely more time to save there. Sub 150's kind of on the table at that point then. Would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people. What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance... I mean, yeah, I'm not going out of my way to play Smash, but... Mere seconds ...need to be able to move independently. Shit on a shingle. You're telling me that Jellyman can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly without leaving... Jellyman. Have different skins? Uh, a couple, like, weapons can have different skins. Like, this axe technically has a different skin. Cause it's, it's, like, gold. Um... Critters. I think that's about it. Makes you think. Data. All right, got my stuck launch. We. Might need to do another jump. Let's see here. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. Pretty good launch. Okay. I will reach out here in a second. I gotta, gotta focus up real quick. Oh, okay, that's a much better way to do it than try to, uh, jump forward. Yeah, just dash. Dash forward. Aha! Uh -huh. 
I am thinking with my noggin a little bit. Okay. What game is Atomic most similar to you? Um, I mean, it definitely tries to copy and emulate Bioshock. You're mine now, Shitbird. Hear that? In terms of gameplay. Show's over. There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the dump? And then it injects an open world part to it. She dumped me. Which is where it goes wrong. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's dead. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate. And that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnoff was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <gasps> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone? Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? But uh, I was saying this earlier. It's it's open world is fine if the game commits to being an open world game. No one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union. But this one couldn't make up its mind if it wanted to be a very linear style game, like more what Bioshock was, or if it wanted to be a true open world game. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Try to have it both ways. That Sorry. doesn't quite work. That's not gonna happen. Hell, it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was <gasps> supposed to be. I said a stop. Special day. For I said stop. Uh, I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched, and it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. <sighs> Curtis. Yeah, no! Shit! No. No! Ah! Blah, 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 Fuck. I'm allergic to monologues. No. Boop, 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 boop. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Find him. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn. Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, <gasps> and the rest will be done automatically. Wrong. I mean, the, the main voice actor is, um, can't remember his name, Jensen Ackles. Pretty famous actor. So he definitely does a good job. It's just, yeah, more of the, the script. Like, I don't even think the overall branching story, like the actual backbone of the plot's that bad. Um, I mean, I've definitely seen it done better. It's just so much dialogue, and it's not super well-written dialogue at that. Leave this place! Leave this place. Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car. Um, I don't know. Complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. 
I mean, the only guess I could make not understanding Russian is like, it's still going to have the same amount of dialogue, which is just the overall problem. Like, even if the tra like the translation was bad, like, I just feel like the sheer amount of dialogues. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Not something you would get around. I've definitely had better days, but yeah, I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. We. Yeah, I got him. A little too low. Before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No, I didn't, Granny Zena. And make me the developers lazy? I mean, okay. developers yourself. definitely aren't lazy. It's just like a completely different problem. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me, even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about it. Okay, I guess I'll Would you kindly be more save. Uh, I... Where the... Oh, uh, I might be able to disassemble some stuff here. I think I can afford this. It's kind of late to buy this, but it still helps out for this part, so. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way over there. I should have looked at, uh... I'm burning mass telekinesis, too. Can I not get knocked down in a fight? Like, holy shit, dude. This guy doesn't want to get picked up. That's cool. Get knocked down. So why not? Definitely a little fighting from my back. <laughs> Fucking knocked down again. Because why the fuck not? Oh, go, 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 go. Fuck off. Got a terrible puzzle. Oh, I fucked that up. Um, I just get like why why do the puzzles have to be random? Why can't they be just the same every time? Like fuck me. Like casually I don't I don't mind those problem like those puzzles at all. I just for a speeder on it really sucks when it's not like a consistent thing. There's like no difficulty skill. Like sometimes it's literally just turn the whole thing once and you're good. And other times it's like, oh, you gotta put it down, flip it, reverse it. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody. Then you have an enemy on your back, and they could take the American military by surprise, just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. No robot choice. They should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? I want to reload, see if this gives me my walking speed back. 
The walking speed's like a weird problem in this run now. Yeah, it's like, I might just have to like reload every now and then. civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like oh yeah, if you reload, then they just like restart their dialogue. The world just recovered from a war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective. And whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what? Okay. Now we got further than the last one. Expected to see Victor like this in these circumstances. Hacking the game. Yep. Hacking into the code. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor. Probably transferring blood. Not as cool. Some nice cherry Kool Aid. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. Er, my god. What's gonna happen next? We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state. Once the simulation He's already dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Grenade! Granada! Not the jelly. <gasps> oh my god. The key foot. Out my eyes. <gasps> my ears. Wow. Establishing connections. The professor says you haven't slept in three days. I don't want to. Sleeping pills. I'm not sure which way to go here. Uh, this way. Why not both at the same time, huh? You know I don't like. We. When I was a boy. So my mother left the light on. It helped him. Bitch. What the I hate Charles. The light was the the with my vigils. She hid before the explosion. I didn't like you. So what happened to Stockhausen? Stockhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Uh, some doctor you are, you grenade tossing bitch. Wow. Well. 
Theoretical physics. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't lie to us. It just gives us the facts. Oh. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy ass critter? You crispy ass critter. <gasps> What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not going to believe it. Oh yeah, if I didn't die in uh, the VDNH that one time, like, one sub-150 is on the table. I don't. Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you okay. do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. This is a part I'm still like. Charles. There are bodies everywhere. Worried about. Doctor with a grenade stock, and the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn Still don't quite understand how this works the way it does. You need to learn to think before you speak, not after. They are beta connectors. Jump, 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 jump. There we go, there we go. Assassins ...to be free of any control other than that of their bloodthirsty master. Do you want more deaths on your conscience? What bloodthirsty master are you talking about? I've got the rings, and I'm not going to put them on any fucking robots. And how long will they remain in your possession, Major? As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still Where time... Where am I? Uh, no, it didn't give me an infinite jump. insist that you destroy the beta connectors why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings charles you said you would make a decision about the I rings when the time was right no pain the time is now i don't have time for this yes you do comrade major otherwise it will be too late fuck off already Charles. oh that was a there are bodies everywhere mm. a crazy doctor with a grenade i don't agree with that but sure the only way out of this is through a wall of bots who the fuck cares about the damn rings stop calling them rings major Stop calling them rings. <laughs> Actually, they're not rings. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two robot assassins to be free of... Imagine getting um actually by a robot. bloodthirsty master. Do you want four deaths... Uh, la 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 la. <gasps> I've got the rings, and I'm not going to put them on... Oh, my loader, go away. I'm not trying to load you in. Possession major. As long as I'm still... Fuck off. Time left. Time's... Not trying to cheat. Get out of here. Can I really not? Okay, fuck me. Go away. <laughs> F1. I don't need any mods for a speedrun. Alright, let's see if she's here. This is the part I'm worried about. Of, uh, Falatava not spawning in. She should always spawn here, but like... Code fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. That one run, she just refused to load in here. Come on. Alright, we're good. We're good. Charles. Are you so how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have right, I lost a little bit of time. But the director of the academy. Uh a minute at most. More likely like 30, 40 seconds. So what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks Welcome, Chariton Zahara. What is the subject? I feel like that opened a lot earlier than it usually does. Your search mm, it's because I quit out of his dialogue early? So which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. I, mean, I might have made some time back there. Try this one. Okay. The only thing I really have to worry about at this point is the quick time event for the twins. Michael dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated. 
and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Okay, play this one. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly. Its behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, <gasps> and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign, Blesna, in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. So you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer... Dying light? Uh, I don't know. Objective. Total Probably not. Impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. Could be. The patient but. suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal cycle. This is a pretty long cutscene. But at least we get that nostril shot. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession. I really need to get around to playing Dying Light and Dying Light 2. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. I know I'd probably have a lot of fun with just like the parkour system, but I just... Consciousness into the imaginary world never got to him. A pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland. One day. Switching the major into combat Maybe. mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid. Uh, all right, I've got two minutes before I start losing time. Paradise with a push of a button. Don't sound too far off. Body. You're doing stuff for the first one release. Yeah, I know the first game has some pretty crazy stuff with like infinite climbing axes or something crazy. What about the hallucinations? I've seen a little bit. No, the hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. Why it's been it's been a minute. Leave any of this. The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never design Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. For it. Nostril shot. What's the so that's nice this? dick POV. He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechin off, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? I forget how to do consistently, that's sad. And then we play it by ear. The dick POV. Okay, yeah, if I lose time here, it's not going to be a lot. I'm pretty sure I split when I clicked I'm ready to go. 
And not like at the end of Limbo 3. Do you want to search? Yeah, I thought I split here. Saving time on a second try? I, that doesn't feel right, but. Uh, I might have done it leaving Limbo 3. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, shit. No, not now. Not here. Flashbang. <gasps> We Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be lifted very Shelley. soon. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying planned. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were uh, a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, uh, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Uh, nothing but blood and ripped off heads uh, everywhere. Disgraceful. Cutscene What's leaving exhibition. Oh, God. I was just trying to see where I split. My God, in <laughs> so loud. Okay, yeah, I did split when I got in the elevator, so I am actually Lady, ahead on that one. Damn. She was my daughter. <clears throat> she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? Lots of gold. I've been on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. Yeah, I mean, the big pain point now is the fucking quick time event. Wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the floor. Like, the quick time event sucks complete ass. Um, because of the fact that if we don't do it properly, uh, we have to watch the entire cutscene over again. <laughs> what would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that. Uh, yes. I think it's like three different buttons. It can be maybe four. Union, then the rest of the world. I get it. If you get it, then... It's either, like, Q, E, F, or space, it seems like. Only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. A twin fighting ability? I mean, the fighting's not... <laughs> not the problem. It's literally just pressing some buttons. What, what is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Charitan Zaharov. Charitan, you devil, you're alive. In a sense, an evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Xena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? Should really check, not during this run, but at some point in time, I should check if you can pause buffer it. Wait a second. What about Katya? Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? So I feel like pause buffering could work, or it could count as like a failed input and just fucking insta kill you. Begging you, Sergei, Sechenov has to die. Jeez, get off my back already, crispy critters. Crispy critters. Crispy critters. Make sure to hit the right button. Claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes, according to the manipulative dicks. That is. <sighs> well.
Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal of yours? Now you're talking, It's so hard to like get them lined up to hit both at the same time. Once I, I'm just fighting one, I should punch her as close to the door as possible, so I'm like closer to the cutscene. Failed a quick time event. <laughs> so if I fail the quick time event, not only do we have to set the, the fight back up, then we gotta rewatch this cutscene, so. <gasps> On the bright side, I think I could technically fail it like twice and still get a sub two. Boss? Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy, not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me? I'm not the one trying to deprive Me? Them will, turning them into mindless puppets? And it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You'll use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you? I <gasps> lost you both. Then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it. Uh, all right, I'll see, I'll see. Stand in the way of progress. Right, left. Terminate. Ah. 
That's the scary one. It's not a sub-150. It is, uh... Not too far off. A little dodged laser. Oh yeah, I don't have a uh, shield for this, so I gotta actually be careful. The actual living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking <gasps> critters. These are cold hard facts, but yet. Exactly I mean, luckily the laser, you can just like literally walk with it the whole time. We. Sheesh! There we go. Sub two. One fifty forty-five. Nice. Oh, can we get a round of crispy critters in the chat? Say hi to YouTube. How do they die? Because we beat them up before the fight started. GG. If you're watching this later on YouTube, be sure to leave a crispy critters comment so we know what you watch till the end. Yeah, when we get into this room, we just beat them up, take away all their health, and then we just start the fight. So they end to die. It's pretty nice. in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize... Yes, yeah, like sub-150 is definitely on the table. That's cool. I, mean, I was just going for sub-2. To they get the reroute uh, into a run. Cool. We definitely do not need the MP gun. Uh, the next step is optimizing combat and upgrades. This whole time. Yeah, it's weird that he's like, oh, this big plot twist that affects the entire motivation for the character. Yeah, I'm gonna say it to you after the fight, you know, like. P3, my boy. Get up. It's definitely a weird decision. <gasps> oh no, it's the jelly man. The gray jelly man. What do you think that tastes like? Seems like it'd be like really fun to chew on. Human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. Me. <gasps> nice. If only I didn't die in the VDNH expeditions, probably would have been sub 150. <laughs> what? What are you going to do to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept, and your thinking is limited. <sighs> you are a human, a species that will soon be extinct. <gasps> I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations hey, professor. You from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. no. Charity. <gasps>
Every time I see this guy, I just think of like Metal Mario running around. Sheesh. The a little screenshot of the old timeline. And found no trace of the doctor. Cool, cool, cool. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuro. The Bowser Junior Water Mario. Dr. Sechenov's body. Yeah, uh, the evil one. The evil Mario. Could see that. After the event. Definitely some swarm of. Some form of alternate Mario. Neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. <gasps> well, I mean, this part's like not too far from from Mario. Oh my god, it's Princess Peach. Whoa. Wow. 